it's Kristen from Pratt Scraps. So I got to leave work early today because we are having a snow storm. It's like whiteout conditions right now. Um, I'll show you when I'm done with this little bit um, what it looks like outside my window. So anyway, I do not own a silhouette, a cameo. I have a Cricut that my sister-in-law gave me probably close to 10 years ago that has never cut well for me and I have probably six cartridges that go with it and yeah just but not my thing but I really like the look of the backgrounds that are cut out and then backed with paper and anyway I believe I don't know who it was so I don't know who to give credit to but somebody did something like this where they took different punches and I have this set from Stampin' Up from quite a while ago and this little guy and then I have a few there's another Stampin' Up one <laughs> she's been around the block um, and then a couple EK Success different sizes I really like circles I've always liked polka dots and then this little thing I think this maybe is from Joann's and like their dollar spot or their cheap um, spot but anyway so this is what I did I went through and I cut out various circles and I would um, I do it backwards so I would do this punch out a circle and then I would take a little bit bigger one oh that one's too little a little bit bigger one Try to center that in the middle and then punch it out to get an outline of a circle. Oops. Okay, so I just did a bunch of those and then I arranged them on my little work mat here and it looks like I've attached it. <laughs> anyway, got it to a place I kind of liked and then um, attached them all together. And then now my plan is, and then if you can see, I use some of the punched out from the middle. My plan is to figure out, draw some colors from this um, picture here. Maybe, I don't know if some of those reds, the kids' jackets. These are some of my daycare kids and then two of my daughters. Um, and because I was thinking snow, snowman and snowballs and things like that. So something like this on my page. I might turn this, I don't know yet. Um, but I really want to back these little openings with different pattern papers and yeah, that's what I'm that's my plan anyway, so that's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna go with. Okay, I'll flip my camera now so I, you can see my outside my window. Oh, it's pretty, outside. That's my little phone holder in my screen. But if you can see that white looks kinda like smoke. It's not snow. Oh, and there's a ladybug. Those suckers came out in full force last weekend. So, anyway, that's my view. It doesn't show up on camera as well, but it's coming down pretty good. I'm glad I'm here and not driving it anymore. I drove home from the daycare house and I had to call 911 because a semi jackknifed right in front of me. So I had to call and I didn't have to, but I chose to call and turn that in so that more people weren't having to drive on the median to get around the jackknife semi. Ugh. But anyway, that's a glimpse into my world right now. I'm going to get back to my de-stressing. Hi. So here's how I got going with the layout. I was going to back all those circles with paper. Um, so I just got all, not all, a a good handful of my um, six by six paper pads out and I was just going through and looking at there's my picture for reference just grabbing papers that had the different colors from my picture so I'm just going through I wanted to get some darks some lights some various shades they have different you know, colored jackets on and I think it all works together to be a good um, I didn't want to make it a black and white picture. I liked the colorfulness of 
all their winter clothes and mittens and stuff like that. So just kept them in there. And there's a the little ladybug. That's um, actually a stack of my sequins right in front of me from the last project I did that didn't quite get put back on their ass dog cart. And there's that little creep climbing along. Later on it'll come back and bug me again. I read somewhere that you could use lemon essential oil to um, deter them because those little things don't like lemon oil. So I need to try that. I do have some lemon. So. So yeah, I wasn't really too concerned about what the um, pages had on them. I was really just going for color. Yeah, what do you see? I'm at daycare right now, so some of my little friends are sitting by me while I record this. I thought, we just got rid of all the school-age kids. They had a two-hour late start, so they just left. And it's five million times quieter in here, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. But got two little buddies next to me here, so they may talk, right? So now I'm going to start the backing process. I don't record this whole thing because it took a, it took a while. But like Missy Wooden often says, that's, that's part of the enjoyment. That's part of what we like, like to do. These two are just going to have a conversation here. Shh, being quiet. I'm trying to record this. Yeah, look at What am I making? Pretty. Is that the snowman that's outside? It is. Ma. Snowman. Okay, so now I'm going to work on my background. Got my Prima watercolors out. This time I'm using the Decadent Pies. I show the cover of, what, cover of the tin when I'm done with it. Um, and it's all the same color. I just used different shades of the same color, um, depending on how much water I added to it. Um, so yeah, and I kind of went around with a pencil and traced where the cut, where the, um, it's not really a cut apart, um, what is it, the circle, the pattern background, where it was going to sit, I thought, um, I don't think it ended up yeah. the same way, so I just did some watercoloring and then some splatters, and now here I forget how I had them arranged. So I just go with go with it, and I got a few splatters on that one circle that my hand, my left hand is touching right now. So I kind of wanted to hide that underneath the picture. So and I knew I would be putting something behind my picture. I didn't know what at this time, but I knew I would put, be putting something on it to separate it just a little bit from the background. And I still have my washi tape covering their faces. I probably could ask them if they cared if they were on my process videos, and these parents probably wouldn't. The one child in the picture, he has been here since he was probably six months old, and he's five now. The other ones are kind of new. They came, They started last summer. No, last spring. It'll be a year. Yeah. But a lot of these guys come to me when they're six weeks old, and they stay. So that's why I don't, I'm not hesitant to put them in my scrapbook because they become part of my, part of my life. I'll be curious what, what happens with them in the future. And, um, I think the oldest child I've had at my daycare is probably 16 and every once in a while I'll run into her and we'll check in and see how she's doing. No, that's not true. I bet there's another girl who's 17. Mm -hmm. And there's another boy that's 17, 16 or 17. Ugh. Some of the kids I was the kindergarten teacher to are like 25 and have their own kids. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. But, and I just stay the same age. Nice how that works in my world. So I decided to go with some tissue paper to put behind the picture to give it that little effect, kind of a cloudy effect. It was a sunny day, but it's snowy. I don't know. I thought that would be good. And I can't keep it smooth. I have to crumble it up. Because that's the way I roll. Yeah. A little too big, so I just fold it over. I have a heck of a time attaching this. I had my ATG is out of 
adhesive. And so I use that little, using that little one from our, from Crafts Direct Donuts in Cloud. And yeah, it tears my toilet paper, my tissue paper. But I got some splatters on the picture too. See right here, I don't know, I should maybe use foam tape, double sided tape. I didn't necessarily want it off the table either. It's a good cough you got there. Then I go back in with some liquid glue to make it attach better. And since my sequins were sitting right in front of me, I decided to put some of them down. The one, this color right here, it's almost the same exact color as the as the paint that I used. Same shade of blue. And they look kind of shiny in this in these pictures. Okay, you want to get down? Okay, go ahead. Down. Want to get down? Where are you gonna go? Okay, I'm gonna put a few more sticker or er, sequins down, and then I can't just leave all the same size. I have to go back and get some smaller ones to add to it. These are from the purple tray, but they're still kind of they're um, indigo kind of, so they work out. Good. Little ones. Arguing in the toy room. Just a couple more here, and then I'll go back, go look for my title. And I actually used the same stickers that I used the other day when I did um, a different layout about my girls. The rainbow layout if any of you saw that it's I can put a link on it I can try to I've never done that before I'll try to put a link to that other video where I use the same alphas they're not sticky at all but I like the font my title's not super original it's just snow fun I go here and look for that mm -hmm. But these, yeah, like I said, don't stick at all. So I have to go back with tape and, or I mean, liquid glue, and attach them better so they don't fall off. Well, now I decide not to keep them all in the same line. I just arrange them a little different. S down the word. Yeah. And then I, I also happen to still have, not all, but some of my December daily stuff is still next to me. I had pulled up a little TV tray and I kind of had my December daily station set up right there, kind of. And I still kept out some of my stuff because... I live in Minnesota and it's winter for quite a few more months so I wanted to be able to if I did a snow layout or if I went back and did some Christmas pictures um, but more so snow um, I have I don't have them all put away so so yeah so I went back and I found some of these snowflakes little embellishments and they're kind of like, almost like, um, not really mirror, but shiny silver. But their sticky dot adhesive are crooked, super crooked. So I had to find ones that you couldn't see the sticky dot. Put the one snowflake right on the O. And then I want some splatter, but I don't want gold. Because I saw so I used my silver distress stain. And they pop the cover off. I've done this quite a few times. Pop the cover off because it kind of has like a spongy bingo dauber type cover. Pop that off, stick my paintbrush in, and then it's just a really fine um, splatter that I got with the silver. And I like the way it turned out. So, thanks for watching. There's some still shots coming up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thanks. Bye.